We're here with Garrett Clark, Vendetta Cycles. They're in Corvallis, Oregon. And Garrett, this is a track bike you brought to the show this year. Tell us it a little is. bit about this bike. Yeah, well, this is a, it's kind of a tribute to a Kieran bike. It's a, all started with these wheels that Connor bought, uh, kind of yes. some vintage old stuff from the 80s. Uh, some you hadn't seen, Connor loves blue. And so had some, uh, there's Connor smiling, loves blue. <laughs> and uh, got these blue anodized wheels and said, you know, we need to build something around this vintage kind of 80s, early 90s style. So yeah. we started with the Columbus Max tube set. It's a, it's a vintage tube set with the ovalized tubes. Yep. So you get the high aspect ratio of the tube in the direction of the applied load in the in the tube so yep. it makes the bike stiffer as yep. well as lighter yep um, these tubes come with special lugs that have the ovalized uh, holes in them so it's a, a complete system with the oval tubes and the oval lugs interesting okay. normally you know the people don't use the lugs in fact there's a couple other max bikes here that don't have lugs they're all fillet braids because the lugs are really ugly so what we did was come in and, and do a little uh, fancying up, a little, a little shaping of the shorelines. There's some fillets in here. We widened out the back of this so we can put the seat stays up underneath. Just kind of try and make something that's max with lugs, but a little prettier. And then, uh, of course, the icing on the cake for this bike is the pinstripes. Uh, we have a local artist in Eugene, Oregon, that uh, we just kind of dropped off the bike and said, yeah, do something in blue and maybe a couple other colors. Yep. And a week and a half later, he says, okay, it's done. And uh, so it's just, just this incredible, you know, kind of Von Dutch style stuff. He came up with the eagle. There's a bunch of striping up here on the, oh, yeah. on the bars, you know, Ooh. seat stays on the fork blades, just all over the bike. And it uh, just came out really well. Now, for those people who aren't familiar, um, let's say with like a Kieran specific track frame, was there a, um, a, a particular type of frame that you kind of used as a model or as an inspiration for building this? Uh, well, so this one has, it's kind of our geometry. So it's, it's Kieran style and the components are all, you know, certified, but the actual, the geometry and the, the handling and the characteristics of the frame are what we would build for a modern track uh, racer. And, the, and this uh, integrated stem handlebar combo, this is uh, your work also? Oh yeah, so it's just a, it's a steel data bar with Philip raised custom stem that we did to match the, uh, the bike. And this one great thing about track bikes from a frame builder perspective is that there's no, uh, there's not a lot of tape on them and no brakes yeah. and levers and cables and right. shifters and all this stuff to get in the way. So why not get rid of the binder bolt on the heads, uh, on the stem as well. Yep. Just kind of make everything simple and flowing and just show just the stuff that we build rather than covering it up with a bunch of components. Yep. That's yeah, great. Beautiful. So let's take a look at the other bikes you brought here. Now okay. it looks like two road bikes. Yeah, we have a couple road bikes and, and these are really interesting because they're both pretty similar sizes but they're made for two different customers. So this one is for a woman who's a, a lighter woman and a little bit less experienced rider. Yep. Um, so you see that for her things like ride is important so we've got very uh, delicate looking seat stays here um, attached far away from the center of the lug to kind of soften up the ride. This also has a little bit uh, more trail, a little slacker head tube angle to so make it a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more, uh, you know, less twitchy. Yep. And so for somebody with less experience, it's a little more comfortable uh, emotionally for them to, to descend on. Whereas over here on this, this other bike, you'll notice shorter wheelbase, stiff rear triangle with large diameter tubes connected right up through the center of the seat cluster. You can't tell, but it's got a little bit steeper head tube angle. Uh -huh. So shorter wheelbase, quicker handling bike designed for a bigger, more powerful, more experienced rider. So that's you know something where you might look at these two bikes and say, oh, they're lug steel, they both use Columbus tubing. They're very similar, but they're really in execution, completely opposite bikes. And these are, this looks like, did you make these um, stems with over, is that oversize 31.8? Yes, it is. Eight? It, it is, it's oversized. Uh, we yeah. make the lug steel stems custom and then polish them in-house and uh, just really add something to the bike. You've got something that's custom painted to match your bike, it looks great, and when you're riding, it's basically the only part of the bike that you see, so why not put something yeah, sure. that's just gorgeous right in front of your face. <laughs> And I love this layup. This now, you had a bike last year. I don't know, maybe it was this bike. But the way you uh, you have the the raised uh, logo right. on yeah, the down Yeah, that was a tube. different bike last year. We made for a, a woman that was a racer. And that was a sloping top tube bike. Yep. Um, but yeah, the the down tube logos are are great. This is a stainless steel sheet that we have laser cut, and then we silver braids it on there, polish, and then the painter, and, you know, of course, has the joy of masking around it to to give us that crisp look. Yep. And now. Do you do, uh, we see track bike and road bikes here, but do you do other styles of uh, like cyclocross or mountain yeah, bike? Yeah, we, do, we don't do mountain bikes, but we uh -huh. do do cross bikes and we do commuters and you know touring bikes, single speed commuters have been real popular lately. Yep. Um, but yeah, so it's all that uh, kind of road, no uh, knobby tire kind of stuff. Yep. Like that for cross. Yep. 
And do you um, do you prefer working with? Uh, you guys do steel or do you do titanium it's also? All steel. Or all steel. All steel. Steel with lugs is what we do. So if, if it's not a mountain bike and it uses steel and lugs, that right up our alley. And what kind of lugs do you uh, use typically? It depends. Depends yeah. on the application. So, you know, typically this bike has some custom carved lugs with little daisies and stuff in it that we did. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Um, we started those uh, with the Pacenti lug. They're a great canvas because they're really large. Yep. Um, this bike, we wanted something really small, simple, um, and we use the Henry Jane lugs on that one. We use Richard Sachs lugs. It really depends on, uh, you know, customer preference and what we think is going to work well with the overall theme of the bike. Great. All right. Garrett Clark, Vendetta Cycles, they're in Corvallis. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you.